Tau separation enables the separation of spectrally overlapping fluorophores based on their lifetime information. In this example, it is shown how you can separate silicon rhodamine 700 tubulin and nuke red. Start with setting up your acquisition and define the imaging settings for silicon rhodamine 700. The emission spectrum of this fluorophore overlaps with the one of nuke red. Consequently, you cannot distinguish the contributions of the two dyes to the resulting intensity image that appears in black and white here with nuclear and tubulin structures. By easily activating the tau separation option, Stellaris acquires simultaneously fluorescence intensity and photon arrival times and shows the distribution of the representative lifetime components in a graph. As a result, you can now see the nucleus in green and the tubulin in red as a two-channel image. Photons coming from the different fluorophores are then separated on the fly. Exploiting this extra dimension enables you to perform experiments beyond the spectral options. Tau separation is a powerful tool that helps you multiplex your fluorescence signal. Now separation gives you the potential to discover more.